Hi guys, it's Ray. I decided I want to do a Tacket tumbler. Um, I prepped this cup. I do not remember what I wanted it for, so I decided I'm going to use it for a Tacket cup. I'm going to use my Cheat Rainbow Bright and Strawberry Wine from It's Pretty Personal. This one's a great holographic. I'm hoping that's holographic in there. Um... I'm going to kind of do an ombre tacket, I guess. So, I have my tacket over and over. This is mixed, not quite 50-50. Um, but I'm going to do two coats of the tacket. So, I'm going to apply this coat and let it dry for about 10-15 minutes. Um... I would normally say until you can't see any white, but since I can't really see a lot of the white over this pale pink anyways, um, I'm just going to go with about 10-15 minutes. And I don't know why, but it is like repelling off of this cup, which is a little bit odd. So I may actually end up having to do three coats if that continues. I've never seen Tackett do that, and that was bottled water because we have a well, so I don't use well water for that. But we'll see. I will be back when this is ready for the glitter. Okay, well, this is two coats and dry, and uh, I turned around and looked at my desk and remembered that this fabric was what I was intending to put on this tumbler, but I will put this on something else at some point. That cute Dollar Tree sloth fabric. So, whatever. We're, we're going a different way now. I'm going to do this glitter on the bottom. So it's just regular old copy paper. And the Rainbow Bright Cheat should cover in white, but should also leave um, a little bit of the pink showing, I guess. The cheats can all be used as a full coverage glitter. You just typically tend to see me using them as top coats. So, but I'm hoping there's enough holographic in there that it'll look good as a um, uh, as a tacket. And I did get quite a bit of excess strawberry wine there on the bottom. So I'm going to kind of brush that off my paper. So I don't mix too much of it back in. And, uh, yeah, that's one of those where you use it and it's fuller than it started. So... Now I'm going to come back in with the strawberry wine, and I'm going to attempt to waterfall. This is where I am going to waste a little bit of glitter. It's not going to stick the same on the tacket, so I don't know really how well trying to do a full-on ombre is going to work. I'm 
in this one because it's so overly full it's hard to sprinkle oops this one is super duper fine compared to everything else and some of this is gonna move when I go to rub it down and burnish it anyways so it'll be what it'll be all right at this point we're just going to go ahead and burnish I'm gonna move this into my dump cup at some point because this is still usable glitter at this point so there's that I'm gonna put a glove on because I don't want glitter all over my hands and I'm gonna grab my paper towel and we're gonna try this spritz the paper towel and burnish with the paper towel thing so this is 91 percent alcohol everybody claims this works everybody's telling me to do it so i'm gonna try it i haven't even watched this technique in a long time so It's definitely traveling more of the strawberry wine than I intended, but that's all right. It's funny, it's making that base pink um, paint look almost yellow. I think I need some more alcohol. what I don't like about the paper towel thing is you do end up with possibly a little bit of lint usually if I'm doing this on stubborn spots I use um, just an alcohol wipe Let's see if it actually makes the bottom easier because usually the bottoms a pain in the butt Wasn't too too bad. Um, maybe not really what I was going for, but I'm gonna kind of rub over that center line again a little bit. See if I can blend them in a little bit more. My initial goal was to put this water slide on here when I'm done and I think this will work with this um, I think it'll be fine so um, yeah I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit let any of that alcohol evaporate out of my glitter and um, 
I'm gonna go over to epoxy and we'll epoxy it and see what we end up with, right? And that just cut out, so I don't know if that saved that video clip or not, um, but I had 25 mLs of KS Resin Liquidy Split mixed up. I put a tiny little bit of my Touch of Rose Diamond Dust in just for a little added sparkle. You can see how it looks in here. You can see how it's actually perfect with these two glitters on this base. And, um... I am just getting it applied and this should give me a smooth enough base for that water slide. Um, I was mentioning that it's been a bit of a struggle for me to accomplish anything lately. Um, so I've been kind of, I'm out of printer ink and I don't necessarily want to get new ink for it because I'm seriously thinking about switching to an eco tank for my water slides and stuff because um, I'm burning through a ton of ink and it's just really not, I keep my cup prices low and it's really, um, getting to a point where it's not affordable. And I think if I switch to the eco tank, I could get many, many, many more water slides and prints and things done. So... I've been kind of thinking about upgrading, and I don't want to go buy $50 worth of ink if I'm going to go buy a $300 printer. So, I'm kind of in that space right now. So, what I've been doing is looking through what I already have printed and sealed, or even if it's not sealed, water slide. Um, I do try and make a note of whether it's sealed or not when I print it, but that's where this water slide came from. It's been sitting here for like a year, so I'm trying to use up some of what I have. I'm trying to go through the Dollar Tree stuff I've purchased, things like that. Um, rather than buying more, printing more, but it's kind of posing a challenge at the same time. So, um, I'm going to let this dry. I'm actually going to torture it quick because that looked milky going on because I do have a lot of micro bubbles. Uh, we are very cold and rainy here again. Not very cold, just damp. Um, and by not very cold, I mean it's like 48. All right, I am ready to get the water slide on here. So I have a little dish, I have some water, and I'm gonna go ahead and get this soaking. Like I said, I do believe this is sealed because it's cut. Um, this is my old water slide that I used to use, and it's not the brand I use anymore, but we'll see. We'll see if it works. And I'm gonna kind of, um, decide where I even want to put. I thought I had a piece of parchment to sit on this. All right. She's ready to release. So there we go. Um, I don't even really think I have anything out from under there to squeegee because I didn't even get my cup wet first. I am so far off my game. It's not even funny. But I think it is adorable. Um, I'm okay with the level of visibility through here. So, I'm going to go ahead and let that dry a little bit. It's a small one that didn't have much water, so it shouldn't take that long. And then we will get it back on the turner and get one more coat over the top and it'll be good. Okay, I am ready to get a top coat on this 
So here we go. Okay, so I have a couple more cups to get top coats on, so I'm not going to bring you down for a close-up. I'm going to bring the cup up to you, but this is going to get one more clear top coat, just like a 10 milliliter coat, just to finish it off because I don't like to have less than three, so, but I'm actually pretty happy with this. Um, it's not the way I originally envisioned but I think it came out super cute anyways, so I am quite pleased. There's the bottom half. Um, I really like it. So that is it for this one, and I appreciate you, and thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.